I was watching some of those kids today on the court and some of the stuff they're doing, I'm just, you know, I'm shaking my head, you know, you know how talented they are. And if they get the opportunity, I'm sure they will be doing what I'm doing or even better. Uh, and I'm just excited. I just hope they get that opportunity. So my message here is really they, they could do the same thing. And message to everyone that's trying to help, you know, just let them know it's a lot of, you know, kids out like me or, you know, even better out there. It's almost like if you draw a basketball player, you draw, you know, a Sudanese or a Dinka. Uh, and that's, you know, that's exciting. You know, that's really exciting because the kids are tall, they're coordinated, you know, they're athletic, and it's what really the game of basketball needs. You know, I just hope that, you know, all the focus doesn't just go there. Uh, you know, they, there's a lot of other kids that are not that tall, and a lot of other <laughs> kids that play soccer. And, you know, and I just want them to get just as much attention. So. We, you know, we were playing with no shoes, uh, playing in basketball, some rims that barely hang on. And I was the youngest one while they're playing. I just joined in. For some reason, I was one of those weird age where I didn't have a lot of my age group. And, you know, so I hung out with the older guys and with my brothers. And, you know, that's really how uh, basketball started with me. You know, just like those kids out there, just playing around, having fun. The wall has taken everything he's got and invested it back in his homeland that's about to achieve its own uh, statehood. And so, I mean, it's an example, it's a huge example uh, to people all over the world, especially young people, someone who has got his priorities right, focused in on what matters the most to him, what historic history of his own family and his own life. The kids, they were, they were, they were trying to have a clinic, you know, but all the kids were like looking over their shoulders, is he here yet, is he here yet? <laughs> I mean, they're just, like it's, it's so incredible to them that someone who's like made it and done these incredible things in the world is now coming back and like cares deeply about each and every one of them and their future. You know, we all went around and greeted each one of them, talked to them about about the future, about this moment. I, I mean, I, it fills my heart with joy to see this kind of, a, of an investment and a role model. I'm just really happy that we're all here. You know, everyone that fled, a lot of people could come back. I'm just happy that I could, you know, turn around, look at my parents, and just be happy that they see it this day. You know, it goes back to, you know, even my dad making that decision and just taking the family and leaving and leaving everything behind. And then now, you know, uh, everything he sacrificed was really worth it.